What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Diesel Creek. Well, it is that time again. It is Richie Brothers Auction time. I'm uh, meeting my buddy Sam from Scrappy Industries out here at the auction yard, and we're going to walk around and see if there's uh, something out there that we just can't live without. I haven't had any time to look at the online catalog previous to, uh, to coming out here, but the auction starts tomorrow, so figured we better just come out and have a look. I have no idea what is in store for us today. I'm pulling in right now, so we'll uh, get out here and have a look. Oh boy! Well, things are uh, officially crossing the loony bin out here at Ritchie Brothers. They've been cracking down more and more every auction, it seems. Now they're making us put on some sort of a safety thing here. It's supposed to be a safety vest, but it's not quite big enough to even fit a person. So, anyway, we're here. We're doing whatever we have to to get in here and have a little sneak peek at the auction. Little Cat 299 there with what looks like a clapped out undercarriage. Check out this 471 Detroit, huh? We might need to keep our eyes on that. Something like that might go cheap, you never know. Old Scrappy Industries <laughs> Sam here checking out the Volvo loader. What's up, bud? Well, I never ran one of these, so I wanted to try it out. It's not the telescoping boom. No, I didn't know Volvo made these. I didn't really either. Well, maybe I did. No, I, I'm thinking of the JCB. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I didn't know that Volvo made these I either. I wonder if they are a JCB. I don't know. This one is well used. Is it? As most Ritchie Brothers. Oh yeah, it's treasures. <laughs> pretty good assortment of skid steers here for our auction. There's usually pretty limited limited pickings. A nice size Cabelco here that would be a contender to replace the Komatsu, huh? The Hitachi's definitely nicer, yeah. But also a little bigger. Is that a 100? Must be about that or bigger. We see no numbers. 135. Oh, it's bigger than I thought. Looks small. Because it's a zero swing, I guess. Oh boy, she is sloppy. What is grease? What is grease? I mean, I've never even heard of it. How many Penske trucks? All the Penske trucks. <laughs> Holy crap. On the back side of the row of Penske trucks we have more Penske trucks. Holy cow, there's gotta be a hundred of them here. Wow. Are they all Max Forces? Really? My favorite place right here, inoperable. Look at this little gem. This would be a beauty to take up at the steam show and beat around up there. Oh, it's missing. Missing some stuff there that looks kind of vital. I think that's going to go for scrap. Perkins? That's a pretty nice little forky. It says in op. No. I don't know what's going on with it. Kenny's fork truck, don't use. Well, we can't use it. That's Kenny's, Kenny's ashtray, bud. Kenny's ashtray. <laughs> Sorry, it's not in Han Smoker. We're not interested. Oh, it's a Sandy, bud. You know, you did say you wanted to upgrade from your 22K forklift. That would do it. That would do it for sure. It's got positioners. Buddy, no more shoving forks around. I don't think you could shove those around. <laughs> Look at the lift chain on it. <laughs> I mean, I wear a size 12 boot. That's a lifting. So 
I don't think. Like 130,000 pounds? Yeah, 130,000 pound forklift. That'll pick some stuff. If you need a light plant, they got you covered here. Trouble with these is they all came from that shell cracker plant we were talking about there. And uh, Sam just pointed out to me that they only have a four digit, they only have four digits on the, uh, the hour meter there. That last one's a decimal point. And if you look at the service intervals on there, they don't line up. If you look at the filters, oh, this one doesn't have any, of course. So they've, the meters have rolled over and you don't know how many times. So it's a four digit meter and the meters clearly don't line up. Hours. Yeah, only got 1,500 hours. Yeah. Add a one or a two in front of it, maybe. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's a winch truck. That's actually a pretty cool truck. It's a, yeah, it's a bed truck. That's pretty legit. That's the biggest winch I've ever seen on a pickup. I feel like you'd fold the frame before you <laughs> exceeded the capacity of that winch. But look at the crane on here. That's a very Harbor Freight-esque home-built crane, I'd say. It's got a Harbor Freight winch on the back, I believe. Oh, it's... It doesn't even say Harbor Freight on it. It's cheaper than Harbor Freight. <laughs> it doesn't say what brand it is. That's classy. The structural integrity of the headache rack here may be a little wanting. It's still going to be stronger than, oh, maybe not. Uh, I don't know. I was going to say stronger than the frame. That looks like Dodge Rod on a GMC. Oh, look at the spring hanger. Oh, the, buddy. Oh, wow. Oh, she is road worthy. The frame literally is already crinkled. Look at it. Oh, my God. Look at it. Because they tried using this wrench. That is exactly what happened. They tried to lift something and the frame literally collapsed on it. That's great. Look at what we got here. A little uh, army tractor. I don't remember what model these are. These are not a deuce and a half. I know nothing about them. It had a winch on the front, but somebody's taken that. A lot of stuff that doesn't sell at Iron Plant it comes to the Ritchie Brothers auction. I love the PVC. Oh, that's Schedule 40 snorkel, bud. We're good. We can go mudding. They camoed it. They did camo it. It also naturally camoed with the moss that grew on it. <laughs> She's pretty rough. I'm going to keep an eye on this one. This has my name written all over it. It does have your name. I'm surprised how little that frame is. Yeah, these, these trucks, everybody thinks these are big trucks, but yeah. they're really not. But I love that homemade airline set up there. This well bet right to the cross member. That seems fun. <laughs> it's holding there. I don't know how that works actually because you don't have, these are not just air brakes, these are air over hydraulic. Oh yeah. So I don't know how they got that working to proportion. Well, they the air in front of the hydraulic. I, I don't know what they did there, but that's interesting. This was not a factory tractor, this was definitely home brewed. <laughs> I'll just weld right to the frame, it's, it's fine. Yeah, they're, they're a fun system. Does it do anything if we try to start it? I kind of doubt it. It's back here in the inoperable section. Give her the beans. Does she cry? No, it's all right. Oh! She's going to be a runner. Hold on. It's in. Maybe not. Well, a little bit of ether and she'll fire right up. I'm, I'm almost positive of that. We're going to keep an eye on this guy. Sam found a nice Rogers low boy. It's ground bearing. That's a bummer. It doesn't look like it's rotting away. Got good rubber, 35 tonner. Ooh. Rot yeah, did you see the rot between the wheel spacers? I forget what you call those, what the actual term is for those things. Ooh. I've never seen that before. I'd be yeah. afraid to take that down the road. That'll definitely get loose. Yeah, <laughs> definitely need to put new ones of those on. But the actual frame doesn't look bad. Worth keeping an eye on. Scrappy Industries definitely needs that. You got a big coal pile up the house to push, right? They're between a D8 and a D9. So. 
I feel like it's more of a D9. I think it's like 80,000 pounds. Well, it's definitely been in a coal pile for a while. That's a pretty serious dozer. I think it's in the budget, bud. You're gonna need that. Where else do you get to come play with something like that? I'm gonna guess that thing's gonna go for around 80,000. That's my guess. That's your guess? I'm gonna take 60. Sam says 60, we'll see. So check out this contraption here. This was. Oh, I don't, I don't know how to drive it. Uh, it's a very unique application though. This is a loader. It looks like it's for maintaining and filling ballast in on rail lines. And obviously it's got your, your rail running gear there, but this bucket is built, it looks like, to fit right down over the rail gauge and scoop excess ballot, ballast around the, uh, the rails. And the bucket, because you can, you're sitting on rails, you can't pivot the machine. The bucket pivots 180 to uh, dump ballast off. It's pretty unique. Oh, buddy. We've got I, contact. I What's that paper say? Figuring out how to operate this thing is probably a trip in there. Well, Sam's got it figured out already, though. Oh, yeah. She's touchy. That is sweet, though. That's a very interesting unit right there. I have no idea what something like this will sell for. I've never seen one before. Five thousand. Five thousand? You think? I think that's too cheap. I'm gonna say it's gonna go for around ten. Ten to fifteen. That's my guess. Sounds good. I have no idea. I have no idea either. But I'm just guesstimating. What is value? Well, some farmer will want it. They think they're gonna load manure with it. It's a little. Well, you got your uh, your obligatory backhoe line up here. 
That one's gonna go to a contractor. This one will go to a contractor. That one's going to a farm. I'll guarantee that. Is that a three sticker? Oh yeah, it is. I, I thought there were four stickers. Yeah, it's a four stick. Uh, okay. I thought they had pedal swings. Some of them do. My yeah. uncle's does. Open exposed extend a hoe. I've never seen that before. That's usually all encapsulated. That's very interesting. Honestly, not a terrible machine for somebody. It's four wheel drive. Got good looking, decent enough looking tires. I think this one was here last time and I couldn't get it to start. She's been, uh, she's been cobbled on already. I saw the, the welded on hose holder up there. It's already been broken back off on the back on the stick. Look at that welder right oh. there. Hey, grinder and paint makes me the welder I ain't. This case over here has clearly had the, uh, the five gallon overhaul. I can see, still see the runs down here on the outrigger. I about only think that paint's they dry, that. bud. They didn't do that bad job. I mean, they didn't want to put new stickers on, they just masked them right off. I feel like case paint comes out the worst, and it's definitely been brushed oh, on. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, look at the lines. Look at that. And they oh. didn't take off the old decals. No, just, right over just those. go right over those. You put it on thick enough, nobody will ever know. 50 years edition, covered yeah. up more of it. That cab's not too bad, though. Oh, except for those rust holes in the fender. Look at that. Gee. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have quite enough paint. Oh, oh man. man. They should have extended the patch. Look at it. It's gone, bud. Gone. This was a salt machine for sure. I like it. You're just going to have to buy the El Camino. I think the Vantage 300 in the back. Oh, yeah. No, Vantage 400. Get it right, bud. Well, I meant that one right there. You got to buy it all. Yeah. Oh, the whole setup, huh? Yeah. Look at that. It's pretty that is a clean car. Honest to God, I am going to keep an eye on this thing. I've always wanted one of these things, and I don't know why. Oh, my God. I like the SS ones. Oh. She just wants to run. That is my new... That's my new parts oh, runner the right there. It's ticking around the dash. You know oh, it's good. That's classy right there. Look at the interior. This that thing thing's is comfortable, isn't it? Oh, wait, there's a whole thing it is a here. super sport, isn't it? It says, don't dim the lights. It says it's a California car. Yeah, I believe it. It's clean. Radio AM, FM, cassette got the dash pad. It's not that terribly cracked up. Buddy, if this thing goes cheap, my wife is going to be angry. <laughs> Look at that beauty. I mean, the bed's beautiful. <laughs> I swear to God, if this thing goes for less than three grand. Oh, it's gonna. Why is that in Richie Brothers? Uh, you never know. Yeah. There's always some weird stuff, man. Well, everybody was uh, playing with more money than I was at the Richie Brothers auction, apparently. So we didn't manage to win anything there. But there's a farm liquidation auction going off tomorrow. The previews today, I'm going out to look at that. And I think there's some pretty cool stuff there. I know for sure there's at least two pieces that I'm pretty darn interested in. So uh, we'll see what we can do. Oh, yeah. I've been seeing this thing set here for years. I used to be a lot more into all the farm equipment side of things. This stuff interests me, but not enough to buy it. Got a Caterpillar 15 right here. The rockets look really good. Track chains look pretty good. She's in pretty fair shape. Missing the valve covers. Transmission's free. Oh, here's the covers we're missing off the side of the engine. Clutches are free. Not a bad little unit. So here's one of the pieces I'm interested in, though. Lot number 14 here, this Caterpillar 212 motor grader. She's a little bigger than Christine.
I was told that the guy parked it here and just never used it. But it was running. I can't tell if the main engine is free. I can't get it to turn over my hand. The exhaust is uncovered, so definitely could have got some water down in there. The pony engine is free, so that's another important piece to that puzzle. This is what you call a knuckle buster machine. No hydraulics, it's all live PTO all gear driven which is nice because you can't blow a hydraulic line but bad because uh if you hit the limits of your travel these knuckle these levers kick out and snap your fingers somebody will buy this one just for the panels on it and stuff the engine's stuck the undercarriage is beautiful so if somebody needs an undercarriage this is the one here Oh yeah, I think I need that. 24 hours later. Oh guys, the auction just ended and uh, well, I had to pry, pry open that wallet a little bit further than usual for something, but I'm pretty darn excited about it. So these prices are after their steep, steep auction fees. This is Hostetter Auction Service, a 15% fee. I think Ritchie Brothers is highway robbery at 13.5, I think they are. And 15%, that, that just seems awful crazy to me. So, so anyways, after the fees and whatnot, this is what we managed to secure. a shovel and a grader. I'm going back over the auction now. We're going to check these things out and uh, see what we need to do to get them running. This is exciting. This uh, having a cable shovel completes my cable machinery collection here. A lot of people loading stuff out today. Alrighty. Well, we bought us another grader. This is a Cat 212 motor grader. This is the same diesel engine that's on a D2. And I didn't give it a super close look over when I was here. I mean, I looked at it, but not super thoroughly. So I didn't go crazy on the bidding. I think I was in this for right around $2,500 all said and done. So that's about scrap price or close to it, you know, and uh, I'm sure worst case scenario, if this thing doesn't run uh, or if the motor is just too far gone or whatever, that uh, I'm sure we'll be able to get the money back out of it, parting it out and selling pieces, parts. I hate to do that, but sometimes that's the best option. I think it's probably safe to say at this point, you guys knew that I wasn't gonna come home without this beautiful shovel. 
as I mentioned, I picked this thing up at the auction and I paid a little more than I'd like to for a machine like this, but I was willing to spend the money because this thing is in immaculate condition for the age. A machine like this is going to need a restoration and if you buy one that's in much worse shape you're going to end up spending the money on it anyhow so may as well cut your losses and uh, buy something nice in the get-go the undercarriage on this machine is in really good condition a lot of life left in it a lot of adjustment left in it i didn't have a shovel this completes my cable machine collection so i'm pretty excited about this one Looked up the serial number. This is a 1950 model, and uh, it has not moved this spot since 1999. I've got it on good authority from the family that uh, this machine has not moved for going on 25 years now. But anyways, getting this stuff out of here is all going to become their own separate little videos here, the grader and this shovel. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that coming here very, very shortly because I'm kind of under a time crunch to get them out of here. So if you like the video, do me a big favor, hit that thumbs up button down below. It really helps the channel out. It doesn't cost you guys a dime. Helps me to keep buying old equipment like this and bringing it back to life. So if you like these videos, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me. If you want to take a little more direct approach to helping out the channel, you can head on over to dieselcreek.com, pick yourself up some merchandise over there. We've got hats, t-shirts, beer koozies, all kind of good stuff over there at the store. That's dieselcreek.com. Link is down in the description. So I guess that wraps up another auction video. So thank you guys for tagging along once again, and I will rejoin you when we are trying to get this thing running and out of here. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.